friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop with our Saturday vlog. Today is March 26th, 2022. Well, we all make mistakes, and I think Emery was having a bad day yesterday. <laughs> First of all, on the video that we released on the world's finest mandolin ever built by a human, and Again, just to clarify, that's just a goal. I'm not stating that that's what it is. Anyway, on that video, she had the word glutton uh, spelled wrong. I didn't even notice it. It was on the thumbnail. I'm looking at the video and I edited it. You know, I, I went through the video to make sure I felt like it was accurate enough. You know, they're never perfectly accurate, but they're just close enough. And I felt like it was close enough. So I released it and then instantly people started commenting on the misspelling. You know, another misspelled word, one comment said, another misspelled word. Like it wasn't good enough to just say a misspelled word. Yeah, fine, whatever. So I fixed the thumbnail. I did that yesterday right after release. So a lot of people maybe didn't even see that. Then, this morning, bright and early, she's going, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I put the wrong part number on it. I said, oh, okay, well, fine. And she said, I already fixed it. So she already fixed the part numbers. Apparently she had part eight on it. My apologies, we make mistakes sometimes. It's just that way. I have a lot going on here uh, today. Uh, my grandsons are coming in from Ohio, so I'm gonna really have fun with them. We've got visitors here. Uh, I don't even know where they're from, but uh, they've been here before apparently and staying at the rental retreat and they've got kids that just love the farm. So they're back here. And uh, so my grandkids and those kids will probably end up playing together, who knows. Before we get into the topic is the title of today's vlog. I'll just show you the status of the world's finest mandolin ever built by a human. It's way ahead of the video. <laughs> But you can see I got this, you know, uh, finished. So I got all of that inlay around there. Anyway, I got a lot more to do on that, but that just gives you a quick glimpse of uh, how far I've made it on that. Okay, so the title of this video is Three Reasons Why I Don't Use Salt With Glue. More than two decades ago, I heard about using salt with glue to keep things from slipping. This comment probably comes up more than almost any comment every time I glue something. Did you know you can put salt on there? Did you, you know, everybody puts salt on there to keep them from slipping. You're not doing it the easy way. Da 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 da. More than two decades ago, I made up my mind I would never use salt in a joint. In fact, the first person that told me to try that, I went, what, are you nuts? Put salt in glue? I, I, that doesn't sound right at all. You see, I everything goes through my common sense sensor. And if it don't pass there, it don't pass. And I don't care how good it is, how wonderful it is, if it don't pass my common sense sensor, it don't, get ha it don't happen with me. Sorry, if you, do, if you wanna consider that just being stubborn, feel free. That's okay, you can, say that and I'll be fine with that. But if it doesn't pass my common sense smell test, then I don't do it, period. Instantly I said, there is no way I'm gonna put salt on a fine instrument. Do you realize how corrosive salt is? I mean, salt is one of the most corrosive things in the world. That alone, just that one reason, would be the reason I would never put it on an instrument. Period. End of discussion. I'm over it. And you can put it on yours if you want. I am not going to put salt on mine. The only thing I put salt on these days is popcorn. Okay, so that's the first reason. And the second reason is... If you've watched my videos over the years, you know that I always clamp every joint as tight as possible. And instantly there's the people out there, you're gonna squeeze all the glue out of the joint. I say, go for it, try to do that. You can't do it. It's impossible, it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna squeeze all the glue out of the joint. And here's my evidence of that now, after almost 40 years of doing this, now, this is a true statement. You can believe what you want. After almost 40 years of doing this, 
I do not recall a single time, not one, where one of my glue joints has failed that I have glued and clamped properly. Now I do have a caveat. The caveat is there have been a few instances where I have told the customer up front, this may not hold because X, Y, Z. There's already glue in the joint. The joint didn't match up right. You know, those are different. That's a different thing. But on things that match up perfectly, where I can clamp them really tight and use good quality wood glue, which I use Type Bond Original, I have never, not one single time, ever had a glue joint fail. So, what, what's the reason number two then? I can't clamp the joint tight if I've got salt in there. Salt holds that joint microscopically apart, and now you've got a thicker glue joint. And you say, oh, that's not, not, that's the reason. That's reason number two. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's reason number two. On those really hard woods that, uh, unless you really crush the salt, it's just going to keep the glue joint open. I don't want that. That's reason number two. But reason number three is the main reason. I don't want to mix salt in with my glue and weaken my glue. I, you know, it, it just makes common sense. If, if salt was a good thing to mix into your glue, tight bond would be pouring salt in their glue. They're not doing that. Three reasons. The first reason is good enough for me not to do it at all. Okay? Right there. So those are the three reasons. I do not use salt. You can recommend it all you want, and I am not going to do it. Ever, not one single time, not going to do it. Period. End of discussion. Now, feel free to feel different about that. I don't have any problem with anybody disagreeing me with me at all. But just read the shirt if you do. can't force you to be right. It's okay. It's a free country. You can be wrong if you want to. <laughs> All right. Now there's two more bonus reasons why I don't use salt. Now these reasons, I will admit, have come up much more recent. The first reason came up probably a couple of years ago because I saw Matthias Wandel, one of my YouTube heroes. I watch a lot of Matthias's videos, especially his older videos are really, really, really good. His newer videos are a little long in the tooth. <laughs> I don't mean like long that way. I mean like, like there you gotta understand there. You got to understand stuff really deeply to appreciate his most recent videos. You know, they're very technical, they're very uh, computer oriented, uh, very, you know, a lot more complicated. I like those videos too, believe it or not. So I'm not picking on Matthias, but his older videos are absolutely incredible. And he's got reasons why he's changed, and I understand his reasons, and that's fine. I'm not picking on him. My point is, he also agrees with me and will not use salt in a glue joint. If he doesn't do it, I'm not going to do it. You know, <laughs> his reasons are good enough for me because I do respect him and he is a pretty smart fellow. Okay. And second, all right. And the fifth bonus reason or the second bonus reason is that, and I did not know this. I did not verify this. So this is hearsay. Okay, I just want to be clear. I heard that Titebond also has come out and said salt is not a good idea. If they don't want it, I sure as heck sure don't want it. Okay, now you know all the reasons. Feel free to disagree with me, but be sure you go back and read the shirt. You might even have to pause the video. <laughs> if I seem passionate about this, I am. <laughs> I don't do things that don't pass the common sense meter thing. Just I just don't do them. I don't care if it makes my life 10 times easier. If it still doesn't pass the common sense thing, I don't do it. That's just me, you know. Just me. Sorry. <laughs> I hope nobody took offense to that. I'm kind of trying to make it light, but I just want to answer that comment because I get that comment more than any comment, especially every single time I glue something, 
And when I watched that video yesterday, I went, oh, I'm going to get that comment again. And sure enough, I got a bunch of them. Not only do I get them in comment form on the video, but I get them in emails. People send me emails too. Lots of them. You know, not just one or two. I'm going to go have fun with my grandsons whenever they get here. Coming all the way from Ohio, it'll probably be late afternoon before they make it here. I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sure I'll be back Monday with a vlog, if not before. <laughs>